Tonight, a Hampton homeowner's reminder for his community after a run in with a wild animal. Alex Littlehales reports. Building a home means more than just the house itself. It's about building connections. Oh, bougie. Man. He was bougie. <laughs> Picky as I don't know what. If he didn't like it, he didn't need it. For 12 years, seeing this 10 pound ball of energy meant Gene and Clint Thornton were home. And this is he and I relaxing. Omega's favorite was no secret. Me. Clint. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, but I'm not doing what you say. He would look over at Clint. But this week, Clint and Gene's home feels different. Where in the world is Omega? And I look for him, then it. Excuse me. Then it dawns on me that uh, he's no longer here. Monday night, Clinton found his dog attacked in the backyard of their Michaels Woods home. I'm thinking it was a coyote. Clint believes a wild coyote jumped his fence and caught his dog, a sight he's never seen this close to his property. The fox, I've seen the coyote. All these years, none of them have come, even come into my yard. The city of Hampton noted an uptick in coyote sightings across the city as recently as 2018. Clint says Omega had free reign of this backyard and doesn't know what brought this suspected coyote this time. So now he's reminding his community to keep in mind what's at stake. They know they're out here, but now they need to be more aware that these animals are attacking your animal if it's out and you're not around it. In Hampton, Alex Littlehales for 13 News Now. As recently as 2018, Animal Control in Hampton estimated about 15 coyote sightings a year.